All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, uh, just here on my lunch break, and uh, you know I might not have time to get into the whole <clears throat> into the whole uh, the whole topic. All right, but I'm gonna try my best through the Spirit to get through. Uh, the topic of uh, why does Esau prosper? Okay, and uh, the amp the answer is simple. Uh, you know, Esau has a particular amount of time until the Most High brings down this kingdom. All right, and uh, you know, as the scriptures say, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, and so until that time elapses, all right, Esau is going to be ruling uh, in wickedness. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and start here um, in uh, Job. All right, this is Job chapter 20. I'm going to start at verse 7. All right, and this is a heavy question. All right, this is Job chapter 20, verse 7. It says, I'm sorry, Job chapter 21, verse 7. It says, Wherefore do the wicked live, uh, become old, and are mighty in power? Okay, the reason why they become old and are mighty in power, okay, is because the Most High, like I said, has given the earth into the hands of the wicked. All right, as it says in Job 9 and 24. Okay, so they have a, they have a specific period of time to rule. Um, it says, and they are mighty in power. Verse 8, their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes. Okay, so these uh, uh, Edomites, for example, they see the fruit of their labors. You know, they start a business. They start a, they still like it. They start a business up and they, uh, you know, they sow. They put in their they put in their their time to uh, to make it prosper, or they they'll they'll uh, they'll have uh, children, you know. For example, these uh, baby boomers, you know, they had their children at their in their in their early twenties. Now they're having them at a at a slower rate because they're dying off. All right, but you know they 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 were they were on man. Okay, as far as uh as far as uh you know prospering in every way, any business venture that they made, they basically uh, prevailed. Any war. That they that they took on, they basically uh, uh, overcame the nation, okay. That they uh, that they that they went against, okay. And so, this is uh, you know, it's it's the question is being asked: Why why are they being allowed to win? Right? It says, uh, you know, in every aspect. It says, verse eight again: Their seed is is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, okay? As, as, as much wickedness as these people do, man, okay? They still, they don't have uh, people, uh, uh, you know, uh, out to, 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 to kill them like that. You know, as far as uh, the neighborhoods, man, of these, of, these, uh, uh, of these rich Edomites, all right, these multi-million dollar homes, they're just chilling, you know? No telling what type of wickedness they did that day, but they can leave their houses their doors unlocked okay you know they uh you know these uh even in these other countries man you know they are up here up there in the hills dwelling in safety they got gates and 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 uh and uh you know the, the gates that you got to have the button in order to open the gate open up and that's that's how you get in your driveway versus a uh you know nigga niggas apartments man they just walk up in there man you know you got there's no gate there's just apartment you go up right to the door. Police knock on your door. Esau, you got to drive five minutes just to get to his house. Okay? And that's if he lets you through the gate. So they, they dwell in safety, right? It says, their houses are safe from fear. Neither is the rod of the most high upon them. Right? Because, like I said, uh, you know, Esau pretty much, his, his, uh, his uh, judgment is being postponed. All right? Being postponed until the day of judgment. Um, let me see here. This is... Uh, Psalms chapter uh, 7 verse 11 all right this says uh, uh, the most high judgeth the righteous okay so the most the, so the righteous are getting judged the most high is, he's not uh, you know allowing the righteous to, to get away with you know things that Esau may get away with right it says and the most high is angry with the wicked every day okay now if you're wicked like I said the most high is angry at you and he may not uh Initiate that judgment upon you immediately, but you will get that judgment. Okay, eventually. All right 
Um, let me see here. It says, uh, it says verse 12 in Psalm 7, chapter 12. If he turn not, he will, uh, he will wet his sword. He has been his bow and, uh, and made it ready. He has also prepared for him instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Okay. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. Okay. That's Esau, man. Okay. Esau is the one who, uh, who, who conceives mischief and brings forth falsehood, man. That's why the Most High is so angry with him. Okay. But the end, but the question is, why does he continue to, why is he allowed to prosper? Okay. Let's continue on. It says verse seven, uh, I'm sorry, verse uh, nine. It says their houses are safe from fear. Neither is the rod of the most high upon them. Their bull gendereth and faileth not. Their cow calveth and casteth not her calf. Right. Esau's, uh, Esau's, uh, 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 cattle, you know, they, they don't, they don't, uh, uh, die off you know back there back in the day a man was uh known okay a man was known by his um by his uh by the amount of cattle that he had you know he was known by you know that's how that's how you how his wealth was determined which was by how many uh, uh uh cattle he had so if he if his if his bull uh you know had sons you know it uh and, and his and his cows uh you know had uh had uh had young that they that they didn't and they grew up to be strong and produce that's increase of wealth okay and you know it, it should really be the other way around because when israel went off and they didn't do that and we didn't uh, as a nation do our sacrifice to the most high what happened all right our our uh famine so like it we didn't get any rain we didn't get any uh we didn't get any crops okay it's a complete mess but esau don't do none of those things and he just went right it says Verse uh, 11, they send forth their little ones, okay, like a flock, and their children dance. So they just allow them to go along and prance in the, in the, uh, in the, not in the wilderness, but out there in the field and chill, you know, they're able to basically uh, uh, just, just, just relax outside, let their, let their children run around in the acres of land that they have, but they're wicked as hell. They're Edomites. You know they're out there they're, they're uh killing um uh you know their parents might be killing israelites persecuting israelites okay ultimately like i said it goes back to today i'm sorry it, it, it you can see it today if you look at just how much prosperity esau has man out there in the, those rural areas or esau will have you know he'll have a company that that uh, that, that his grandfather so-called worked hard for okay and allowed and, and allowed his family to, to prosper but Jake try to start a business, man. Don't have access to credit. Doesn't have any family um, uh, progeny to be able to uh, to use the the money that's already within the family to start up a business. Just already, just you know, already starting off losing for for us Israelites. But Esau seems to just have it, man. Okay, that's 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 part of that's part of our curses, right? Uh, let me jump over here to Psalms, Psalms chapter ninety four, and. Verse three, it says, it says, uh, 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 Yahweh. You know what? I'm going to start at, uh, one. It says, Oh, Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh, Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Right? It says, um, uh, lift up thyself. Thou judge, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. How long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. We're asking the Most High, how long is he going to allow Esau to rule in this wicked society that we're in right now? Okay. And we hasten the day of the Most High judging this place because we know that Esau has a tab that he has not paid yet. All right. He is oppressing the poor. Okay. He, he lurking in the in, in the in the dark places, okay. It set traps for for the Most High's people, I'm talking about Esau. So the Most High doesn't like that man. All right, and he's gonna get his just desserts. Um, let me see here. 
uh, this is uh, continuing on. Uh, it says, uh, back in Job 21, it says, uh, they send forth their little ones like a flock and their children dance. They take the timbrel and harp and rejoice at the sound of the organ. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment they go down to the grave. Okay, so they are living it up the whole time they're, they're, they're on the earth. All right. And then they just, you know, they, they, they die off old age or whatever, you know, and they just continue to populate the earth. It shouldn't be that way. See, it should not be that way. It's the most high, you know, we asking the most high to judge these, 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 uh, these other nations, man, for their wickedness that they perpetuated upon the planet earth. Okay. For example, made uh, homosexuality legal. Now they're pushing for pedophilia, making that legal, bestiality, transgenderism, transhumanism, all right, which is uh, merging yourself with technology, okay? All of these ideologies of, uh, of, uh, of, of Satan, really, are being pushed here in America, and it seems like there's been no recompense uh, uh, from the Most High towards it so far, which is why Esau thinks the Most High is for him, but he's sadly mistaken, all right? It says, verse uh, 14, it says, Therefore they say unto the Most High, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Okay? They don't want to learn about the Most High because they're already winning. They are, they're in their heaven. They're good. They're chilling. So they don't have to worry about what Israelites have to worry about because the Most High hasn't judged them yet. Right? That's In their mind, that's, that's their perspective. It says, what is the Almighty that we should serve him? Verse 15, right? It says, what is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? That's their, that's their perspective. That's, their, that's, how, that's how they look at it, you know? And that's why the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is going to uh, judge these people, okay? Because of their, uh, because of their, uh, their, 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 their mindset and their mentality of just doing as they will, man, okay? Doing whatever they want, serving Satan. The Most High is not with that, all right? And he's gonna destroy uh, whoever has that mentality, whether they be an Israelite or, or an Edomite, man. All right, so Abaratazah, you know, I'll be able to make a part two of this video. Uh, gotta get back uh, to, to the job. So, hey, Abaratazah, this is an edifying lesson to you, brothers. With that, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash, Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.